Yes, thank you. Hello, and thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I'm uh, 61 years old. I'm 5 feet 8, and I weigh 115 pounds and about 99% vegetarian. Besides osteoporosis, I uh, and I take your pig pack and selenium with great results. Thank you. Okay. I also have a um, high allergy to citrus, uh, especially lemon and limes. But my concern is that two years ago I was diagnosed with a liver cyst that was 12 centimeters, and last month I had it rechecked with an ultrasound, and I was told that it was 15 centimeters. So my question is, what causes it, what can prevent it, and how can it be treated without having surgery? Okay. Did they say what kind of cyst it was? It said a simple liver cyst. Okay. And it could be <clears throat> just a um, one of the bile ducts that um, never had an exit, and so it just the bile uh, over time fills, fills up that bile duct, a little tube that carries the bile to the gallbladder. And since that particular duct might not have an exit, it starts ballooning up with the bile building up in it. And it might be a birth defect that you were born with. It could be that you actually have a um, uh, gallstone, which is not, not even in the, gall, in the gallbladder yet. But uh, gallstones are not caused in the gallbladder. They're actually caused in the liver. And uh, they drop into the, in the, into the uh, gallbladder and it gets blamed for it. But really, these um, gallstones are caused in the liver. So it could be a gallstone blocking that um, <clears throat> um, bile duct. So, let's see here. And, uh, again, you weigh 100 and... 115 pounds. 115. Was, uh, on the ultrasounds that was mm-hmm. shown. Sure. Okay. Now, do you have any other issues? Do you have any high blood pressure, diabetes? No, I know you have osteoporosis, you said. Right, and a high allergy to uh, citrus that I've citrus. never been able to overcome, and I would like to know if you can address that also. Okay. Um, Mary, um, what I'm going to suggest to you is this. <clears throat> I, you know, go to the medical school. I don't know how close you are to Atlanta. There's Amory um, University in the medical school there. I know them very well. They know me very well. But I'd get a second opinion from them. To have, you don't even have to have the ultrasound. They can make a disc for you and, and send it over and let them look at it and give you another opinion. In the meantime, for 115 pounds, you've got to get rid of all the bad stuff, all the inflammatory things, no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no oils, no olive oil, coconut oil, margins, mayonnaise, hydrogen, cooking oils, and no gluten, wheat, brown, and oats. I go ahead, and also because you're sensitive to citrus, I would use our original liquid multiple. It's called the Ultimate Classic. It's a liquid multiple. And then I would also get the EFAs. So you can uh, take your body weight. You can take <clears throat> three of those EFAs at breakfast, three at dinner time. There's two bottles of the EFAs per month, um, one bottle a month of the Ultimate um, Classic Liquid. Uh, take a tablespoon twice a day. That's a half ounce twice a day, so it'll last you a month. And then also I get the Ultimate Enzymes. We also call it the gallbladder in a bottle because it does have bile in it, and it'll raise your blood level levels of bile, which will get into your liver, and it has the capacity to help you absorb the good stuff. But also it can dissolve a gallstone's, Okay, because uh, gallstones are just precipitated bile, and so you get some liquid bile going in your liver. If that's all it is, is a gallstone pl- plug in a duct, uh, you might, not guarantee, but you might be able to get it dissolved by supplementing. I go ahead and take one of those, say, one or two minutes for each meal, a couple ounces of water. But get that second opinion, give us a call, and maybe they'll have a better insight uh, as to what's causing that cyst to slowly grow, and uh, we'll walk you through this. 